Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of functions. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let f is a function which has real numbers minus 3 and the other criteria says real numbers minus 1 and the function f of x is defined as x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. And the other function g, it's given to us as g of x is 2x minus 3. The question asks us to figure out what is the sum of all the values of x for which inverse of this function and inverse of the other function. So f inverse x plus g inverse x equals to 13 over 2. So we need to figure out when this condition is true. What are the sum of all the values of x which happen to make this condition true? And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, the options are 3, 5, 2, 7. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. Let's figure out how to solve this question further to find sum of all the values of x that is asked to us. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you. And it also helps me to get motivated to make better content for you in terms of this video sessions that we are doing. Let's see the question. So the question, if I talk about it, it's telling me f of x is x minus 2 over x minus 3. Now I want to find the inverse of this function fx. So when I want to find the inverse of this function f of x, what I can do is I can just put f of x as a variable, let's say y. So y is x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. Now I'll try to convert my x in terms of y. So if I do that, I get xy minus 3y is equals to x minus 2. So if I am taking x terms together before because I want to convert it in terms of x, so I get xy minus x is equals to 3y minus 2. So from here I take x common, you get y minus 1 equals to 3y minus 2. So further if I try to solve it, I get x is 3y minus 2 divided by y minus 1. Now when I have x in terms of y, I can just write that x is nothing but your inverse function. And instead of y, I can just resubstitute it as x. So if I'm resubstituting y as x here, I get the inverse function in terms of that. 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. So I have f inverse x. Now let's same way find out g inverse x also. So g of x is given to me as 2x minus 3. So from here, I can again put, let's say g of x is y. So y is 2x minus 3. From here, I get y plus 3 is 2x. From here, I get x is y plus 3 divided by 2. Now, once I have x is y plus 3 divided by 2, I get from here further the same idea that when I have x, I can write that as inverse function g inverse x. And instead of y, I will resubstitute that as x. So that gives you x plus 3 divided. So you have g inverse x also. Now you have f inverse x also. Once I have both of them with me, I can just figure out the condition that says f inverse x plus g inverse x is equal to 13 over 2. So when I have that with me, f inverse x, we just figured out and that was 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 1. g inverse x, we have x plus 3 divided by 2 equals to 13. If I further try to solve this equation, I get 6x minus 4 plus x minus 1 into x plus 3 divided by 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 13 divided by 2. So from here, I get 2 and 2 getting cancelled. So I'm left with 6x minus 4 plus x square minus x plus 3x and minus 3 divided by x minus 1 equals 13. So from here I can further write that as x square as it is. 
3x minus x which is 2x plus 6x which is 8x. Minus 4 minus 3 which is minus 7 is equal to 13 times x minus 1. So that gives you 13x minus 13 and x square plus 8x minus 7. That gives you further x square plus 8x and minus 13x which is minus 5x. Minus 7 and plus 13 which is 6 equals to 0. If I further try to factorize this, I get x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 equals to 0. Taking x common, I get x x minus 3 minus 2 x minus 3 equals 0. So from here, I can further write that as x minus 3 x minus 2 equals to 0. And if I further try to simplify it by taking both of them equals to 0, I get x equals to 0 or x equals to 2. So I got two values. The question is not asking me to figure out the values of x. It's asking me to figure out some of all the values of x. And when I have to figure out that, sum of all the values of x means 3 plus 2 and that's equals to 5. So we get the answer for the question that is asked to us. That is sum of all the values of x that comes out to become 5. And that matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of finding the inverse functions from the functions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, Please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.